It all started with an earnest mistake of a grade 4 examination paper, which she was given as a grade 3 student and scored 100%. Named the best student under the most difficult conditions in the Midlands province, Maud Chifamba, the child star, enrolled at the University of Zimbabwe for a Bachelor of Accountancy Honours degree in 2012, aged 14, earning herself space in the Book of African Records as the youngest university student on the continent. That same year, she was fifth on Forbes' list of top 100 youngest powerful women in Africa. Fast forward to 2021, young Maud is now a chartered accountant, her latest qualification. It's been long. It's been um, longer than I even expected because when I got introduced to the world after A-level, and then um, going to university, I thought to myself, after university, you know, life is going to be okay. I'm not going to be a student. But I didn't know that I was going to stay in school for nine years for me to then be able to say, you know what, I'm now at a point where I'm comfortable to start becoming more of a professional. So it's been a long, a long, long nine years, but it's been worth it, if you ask me. I've learned... I've grown. Like, you know, you actually can feel it in yourself that the person that I was two, three years ago is very different from the person that I am now. So I've learned, I've grown, and that's why I say it's been worth it. I mean, I've even gained weight. <laughs> Who knew I would be looking like this like nine years ago? So, yeah, it's been quite a journey, but I'm grateful for it. The 23 year old also spoke glowingly of her work experience. When I went for attachment, which was the time I was about, uh, 16, 15, 16, that's when I went for attachment. I was learning, I was working at the Zimbabwe Revenue Authority. Um, I had people there that had grown and I was still a child. But then after university, I then managed to get into one of the big four accounting firms, which is Deloitte. Um, and the good thing about the accounting firms is everyone there is young. Like, even the partners, they are very young, like the owners of the business, they are young. Um, you have people coming in from high school to do their articles. You have people coming in from university coming in to do their articles. So it was a mixed bag. So it really allowed myself to go. So prior in my life, I had grown so much in terms of my academic life, who I was in terms of my academic life. In terms of my social life, there was a bit of a lack of balance there where you're the only young person there. But you go into the, into the firm, you get that there are people from high school, there are 19 year olds there. So there's nothing special about you being 19. Uh, well, it might be special that probably you're working at a level that is higher, higher than they are, but there's really nothing special because everyone is young there. So that, I'm very grateful for that experience because it allowed me to also even discover myself in terms of the social parts, um, character-wise, how a 19 year old acting like. And it even gave me the, uh, the opportunity to actually act 19. It gave me the opportunity to act 20, to act 21, because in the film it was okay. For those who have been following the story of Maud for the past nine years, it has been a journey filled with inspiration that will go down in history books as a torch for the girl child empowerment. Memori Chamisa, ZBC News, Harare.